it's like trying to come and play the All Blacks at rugby. You know, the, the crowd will be a huge advantage for the Kiwis, their horses will be a huge advantage, uh, but that just increases the challenge, it makes us more motivated to uh, do the best we can. This is a, is a top ground by anybody's standards um, and we've worked long and hard at that over the last uh, half dozen years. We originally got the grass from Australia, we were the first in New Zealand to do so. Um, we spend hours grooming and dethatching and mowing and fertilising and all of that sort of stuff so yeah, the ground is in great order and um, we shall see today how it holds up. Okay. Well this ground has held up superbly today. As I said earlier, one of the best grounds in the world and Paul Kay and the Kiki Polo Club must be commended for the work they've put into this ground, just countless hours. And these players just love coming here and playing the international here on this superb ground. Now JP Clarkin with the ball. They're trailing by 1-6-5 New Zealand. They need to get in front. Chucker number five, it's a vital chucker to score goals in because you've only got one chucker left and that chucker can go pretty quickly if you're in a desperate situation. New Zealand on attack here with Craig Wilson. Can he do something? No, he can't. Tommy Wilson's there. JP Clarkin, oh, it must be close. Oh, there's the post. It's hit the post. Oh, saved by Luke Tomlinson. Gets it out of the danger zone there for England. Sam Hopkinson, what can he do with it? Backs it back into the play, pricking it up. Craig Wilson, no, he's ridden off it by Malcolm Bork, but all picked up by Tommy Wilson. Malcolm Bork, another look at it. Drags it out for England. Backed in there by Tommy Wilson. Didn't go too far, though. John Paul Clarkin races onto it. What's he going to do with it? Backhand. Trying to intercept it was Bork, but picked up by Tommy Wilson. And a penalty there awarded to England. Can they get out of their half? A big drive from Luke Tomlinson up to his number one, James Byam. He slices one in towards the centre. Sits up there, racing towards it. Tommy Wilson, backhand, gets a good shot to JP Clarkin. Drags it upfield. Malcolm Borick comes with him. He can't come in there, he'll get penalised. So he lets him play the ball now. He'll try and scoot past him here. JP Clarkin getting the pony going. Now underneath his pony's neck. Beautiful centering shot. Who's there in the black shirt? No one. Picked up by Luke Tomlinson. Clears it once more for England. What a match he's having. Been in sensational form, the eight goaler from England. Fires one up towards the halfway. Going back, New Zealand number four, Sam Hopkinson. Puts one back into the center of play. Malcolm Borks there for England. Steals it away from JP Clarkin. Now he sends a drive back down into the New Zealand half. James Byam's there, can't connect. But Malcolm Borick does this, is sitting up nicely. Byam, goal scoring opportunity. Oh, he missed it. Left it, cleared by Tommy Wilson. Under desperate pressure here, New Zealand. JP Clarkin takes it away, just quickly taps it. Enters his pony. Toll is starting to feel on some of these players out here. They've been racing from one end to the other end right throughout this test match. Beautiful stuff from JP Clark and all Craig Wilson couldn't get hold of that one. JP Clark and he goes over the top. Left there, Malcolm Burrock, near side backhand. Chucker number five. Turning on to it. Sam Hopkinson, what can he do with it? James Byam comes in there. Now he shoots for goal, lofts the drive over. Oh, and Whistle sounds, was, umpires are having a agreed look, on the look, whistle Mark. there. Go away, so, third man have said no foul. So another rolling right in front of the goal mouth. Luke Tomlinson, look at him working. Drags it away from the line out. Luke Tomlinson onto the boards, it comes. J.P. Clark in there, fighting with Malcolm Borick. Malcolm Borick wins the battle, but knocks it out of play. So rolling, umpire. Robert Watson rolls the ball in there, right on the boards. Tommy Wilson fighting for it. Rucking the ball out of there. Luke Tomlinson finally gets hold of it. Back in there a short way by Tommy Wilson. Now JP Clarkin going goalward. Gets a good drive and loose too as Craig Wilson. Can he finish this one off? Yes, he can. Oh, there's the equaliser, 6-6. Six, six. On the Lexus replay, look at this. Big angle here, leads right out in front and a cracking shot straight through the center. Brilliant goal from Craig Wilson. Robert Watson rolls the ball in, goes through the line at all. James Byam's come off his pony. Both He's hit the deck with his arms out there, coming. looking at the umpire saying, what about that? He 
watch the replay here. Oh, look, Craig Wilson's pony just knocks him straight out of the saddle. Six in the air, comes to the deck, and he's not too Both happy about it. Craig okay. Wilson gives him a tap on the head. At the he says, I want sorry of you about that, at mate. The tea, okay? I don't want you Here's the replay once more. Not on purpose from Craig Wilson. I think the pony took control into her own hands and took time off the pony. They'll set up again for a roll and they line up back into the action. Chuck it, number five. Ball comes out, James Byrne. Takes control of the ball, just slightly taps it. Brings it forward. Gives himself a bit of room, brings it up to Luke Tomlinson. If he can't get hold of it, Craig Wilson beats him to the ball. Short backhand. Picked up by J.P. Clarkin, right on halfway. Turns it around for himself this time. Now drives a good one, straight down the centre. James Byam's there though, they can't get hold of it. Luke Tomlinson comes in on Craig Wilson. Oh, whistle there. Didn't look too happy there, Craig Wilson. And he's letting Luke Tomlinson know all about it as well. So a penalty been awarded to New Zealand. J.P. Clarkin slots this one through. Beautiful shot, no doubt about it. And they're back in front, New Zealand. Seven goals to six. Just what the doctor ordered for New Zealand in chucker number five. Back to halfway, change ends. For England, Luke Tomlinson just takes his time, tapping that around, soaks up. Bit of time now, a big drive. Look at this shot. Oh, magnificent, all the way. Yes, the flags go up. Luke Tomlinson, take a bow. That is fantastic. On the Lexus replay, look at this, about a 120 metre shot here. One hit of the ball and it flies. It just about comes down with snow on it. Magical shot, rolls right through. New Zealand got no chance of stopping it. Great stuff from the England captain. He steps up to lock it all up. That's seven apiece. Well, back at halfway, they didn't get far from it before the last goal. Tommy Wilson brings it away. Craig Wilson's there, drags it down into the English half. Now a centering shot from him. Tommy Wilson racing out, always oh, got good legs on Luke Tomlinson. He may finish this off. Yes, he does. Tommy Wilson. Oh, brilliant stuff from him. Look at the Lexus replay here. Craig Wilson with the shot. You see Tommy coming. Anticipation. This shows you experience pays. He knew the ball was going to go to goal. So he got the legs on Luke Tomlinson and just comes in here and finishes it off nicely. Perfect stuff from the New Zealand number two. And that puts New Zealand in front. Eight goals to seven. Chucker. Oh, and that's the end of the chucker as well. So chucker five, chucker. a good one for New Zealand. They keep their noses in chucker. front. Eight goals to seven. Let's hear from some of the players the advice they would give to youngsters wishing to take up this fantastic game. Well, my advice to, to any young young guys trying to take up polo would be just to get on a horse, you know, time in the saddle. I started in the pony club as all our team did actually, which is, um, I think they have it here also. It's just a really great system of getting young kids into polo and. Uh, you know, you play that till you're 18 and then, then as you get older you get into adult polo. Uh, advice, I'd say no, just concentrate a lot on your riding and you've got to work hard and, you know, if you work hard and, and do the right things, you hopefully get the lucky breaks.